In the last video, we noticed the very strong street performance of this 10th generation Civic Turbo. Let's gather some more data. We use the Flash Pro to gather data. It's quite difficult to dyno using a CVT on a Dynapack dyno. There's no exact match between the engine RPM and the drive shaft RPM. Honda has programmed the CVT to behave somewhat like a 5-speed manual transmission. We can see that in the data log as it goes through the gears, as it's upshifting and downshifting, which makes it quite a pleasant car to drive, having a, a manual shift-like pattern or an automatic shift-like pattern in there. CVTs are fairly simple. They consist of two pairs of cones over which rides a steel belt. As the top cones move apart, the bottom cones move together. This allows an infinite number of gear ratios. Our first dyno pull on a stock Civic gives us 177 horsepower with 190 pound-feet of torque. Torque is a little higher than Honda published, but Honda's numbers were generated on an engine dyno and we are probably seeing the effects of torque multiplication from the torque converter. We look forward to dynoing a manual transmission turbo Civic in the near future. Peak boost is 14 psi at 4700 rpm and it holds between 13 to 14 psi to gear shift. When we compare the power and torque curves of the SI and the Civic EX Turbo, we see that although the SI has more power, the EX Turbo has more torque. So here we are at the Fontana Dragway. We're going to be testing the Civic SI versus the 10th Gen Civic to see what they do in the quarter mile. I'm very excited. This is my very first drag race. But in order to give the Civic SI the best possible advantage, we've enlisted Javier Loarca. He's a veteran of over 200 drag races and he drives an 8 second Civic. You can't give the Civic SI a better advantage than this. Let's give the SI a bit of an advantage. Now set a sport mode, let's run it in drive and run it in economy. Well, what a great ride. Great traction, no wheel spin off the line, but unfortunately, due to the wind conditions today, the track only allowed us to run one eighth of a mile. I think we need to wait for our opponent to catch up. Wow, I did everything I could, I still lost. I think I got set up with the slowest car. Is this really an SI? because I can't wait to see the new Turbo Civic Si give that a run. Even with the EX in economy mode, we still beat the Si.